Hi there. So let's continue talking about how one can summarize raw data in Excel. In the previous video, we spoke about frequency tables and frequency distributions, as well as graphical representations like the bar chart and the pie chart. In this video, I would like to introduce to you one of the powerful features in Excel, the pivot tables. Pivot tables are very important in summarizing large volumes of data. They work the same way as the frequency tables that we actually uh, created in the previous video. However, they are powerful in the sense that they actually take most of the steps that we did in the first video and do them automatically for us. And the best way to see or prepare a pivot table, I will illustrate using the restaurant data set that we used before. And I would also suggest that one also takes the data set that we used in the previous video, the names data set, and try and play around with it using pivot tables and see how they can get the same frequency tables that we got in the previous video just using the powerful tool pivot tables. How you create a pivot table is you would first select your, your whole data set and on the insert tab you click you will find the pivot table icon what you would do you would also click on the pivot table you will see it shows you on the ribbon that it's selecting the whole data set as exposed and that that shows in the range now just like when we were doing the random number generation in the window it also shows you ask you where you would want to output your pivot table and um, you could choose the existing data set but so that for neatness sake and so that we are able to visualize it properly let's choose a new worksheet and then we click on ok so this is how it will this is how it looks we are not going to do one-way frequencies like we did in the previous video what I would like to illustrate using the pivot tables is two-way frequencies. So we're going to do a cross tabulation of the frequencies. How you would do that, for example, let's say you want to actually look at the frequency for each meal price and how it was rated and how the food was rated. So what you would do is you would probably want to take the quality of quality rating into the rows and how you do that you click on it and drag it drop it off at rows and it's already showing the different ones you see previously you would have copied you would have copied excellent good very good into one into each cell but here it does it automatically for you it goes and search the whole column under the variable quality rating and looks at what's there and then for the prices you do the same thing of course you'll put it in the column so it's already it has that okay for the prices we've got prices ranging from 10 to 48. now what you would want to do is you want to add values so that you can find out the frequencies so just drag restaurant now you've got your frequencies let's interpret this what does this say it says for example you had one person that paid 13 rand for example and rated the meal excellent you've got five persons that actually paid 13 rand and rated the meal very good however if you look at the table it's a little bit uh, cluttered all and it's a little bit all over the place so you'd want to actually make it smaller so that it's easier to view and the best way to do that is by actually grouping and what you would group is you would group the prices and how you would do that so that it looks neater you would click on right click on the one price say 10 and you would from on the drop down click on group what group does it's already telling you okay the starting value in your prices is 10 and we see 48 it ends at 48 we can group by 10 
it's your choice you can group by five and all that so i suggest maybe you could increase this so that increase it to 50 so that it's much easier and then you group by 10. so what now that is saying is people that paid between 10 and 19 rand we've got two of them that actually rated it as excellent and so on and so forth so there's a lot that you can do with pivot tables you can also actually click on just the um, one one of the frequencies in there and you choose how they should give the frequencies for example if you actually click on one right click you get the drop down here and then you come to value field settings you will see all it asks for now it's count you can give the average you can give the maximum you can give the minimum you can it's you've got the counts you can give a lot you pick from you can pick from this you can give the sum so sometimes you will see numbers that are not like very nice like for example let's see you would see your pivot table showing something like this and you know for example your data set let's check how your data set is just 300 size of 300 yet your pivot table is giving you don't have to panic when your pivot table gives you something like this all you just need to do is you just, just need to change the uh, on the field setting what the pivot table should return in our case it's returning the sum but that's the thing you won't know unless you check for example you need to then click on the value field setting and it's telling you it's returning the sum but all you want is the count i hope this was very helpful like i said you can just go and play around with this but the first thing that i would like you to do is to do exactly what i did and also you can then try the name starter set and find if you uh, see if you can get the same frequencies that we got last week in that case you will realize all you will need for example is you will need quality of rating and you will not need anything here like say on the name let's remove this now you see you've got count of restaurants so you've got frequencies now that's how uh, pivot tables work thank you very much